Good day everyone, this is Teacher Nori. In this video, we are going to talk about what to do before, during, and after an earthquake and volcanic eruption. Some of the signs of increased volcanic activity are small earthquakes, swelling or bulging of the volcano sides, and increased emission of gases from its vents. If you are under volcano warning, listen for emergency information and alerts. Follow evacuation or shelter orders. Avoid areas downstream of the eruption. Protect yourself from falling ash. Do not drive in heavy ashfall. Use better face masks to prevent inhaling ash. And reduce ash exposure by not get going out. How to prepare for a volcanic eruption? First, you must know your area's risk from volcanic eruption. Next, ask your local emergency management for evacuation and shelter plans. Then, learn about community warning systems. Next, prepare a grab kit. And consult your doctor if you have existing respiratory difficulties. Here are some more ways in preparing for a volcanic eruption. Practice a communication and evacuation plan in your family. Have a shelter in place plan if your biggest risk is from ash fall. And keep important documents in a safe place. Create password-protected digital copies. During a volcanic eruption, listen to alerts. Follow evacuation orders from local authorities and evacuate early. Avoid areas downwind and river valleys downstream of a volcano. Take temporary shelter from the volcanic ash where you are if you have enough supplies. If you are outside, protect yourself from falling ash that can irritate skin and injure breathing passages, eyes, and open wounds. Also, avoid driving in heavy ash fall. After a volcanic eruption, listen to authorities to find out when it is safe to return after an eruption. Send messages to reach out to family and friends. Avoid driving in heavy ash. If you have breathing problems, avoid contact with ash. Stay indoors until authorities say it is safe to go outside. And... Do not get on your roof to remove ash unless you have guidance and training. Can we predict earthquakes? Sadly, no. If volcanic eruptions with all its warnings cannot be predicted, neither can we predict when an earthquake will occur. Since we cannot predict when an earthquake will occur, the best thing that we can do is to prepare for it. First, practice drop, cover, and hold on with family. Next, make an emergency plan. The emergency plan must include a place where you can where your family can meet after being separated during an earthquake. Next, protect your home. Secure all your belongings by bolting them to the wall or setting heavy objects near the ground. And lastly, wear a mask when in public to slow the spread of COVID-19. You may find it difficult to wear a mask while an earthquake is occurring. So to prepare for it, it's better to always wear your mask. 
During an earthquake, if you are in a car, pull over and stop, and set your parking brake. If you are in bed, turn face down and cover your head and neck with a pillow. If you are outdoors, stay outdoors, but make sure that you are away from buildings. If you are inside, stay inside and do not run outside, and avoid doorways. Also, during an earthquake, you must drop, cover, and hold on. After an earthquake, wash your hands with soap and water after holding on to commonly touched surfaces or objects. This is to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Expect aftershocks to follow the main shock of an earthquake. Be ready to drop, cover, and hold on if you feel an aftershock. If you are in a damaged building, go outside and quickly move away from the building. If you found yourself trapped, send a text or bang on a pipe or wall so that rescuers can hear you and know that you are still alive. If you are in an area that may experience tsunamis, go to higher ground immediately after the shaking stops. And then, check yourself to see if you are hurt. And if you are not, try helping others if you have proper training. Once you are sure that you are safe, pay attention to local news reports for emergency information and instructions via battery-operated radio, TV, social media, or from text alerts. Be careful when cleaning up and engage virtually with your community through video and phone calls. And that is the end of our video. Thank you for watching. Until next time.